So let's start with um, online payments. Online payments are a way to let your customers pay for invoices online. They can use a credit or debit card, Apple Pay or Google Pay. And once you've set it up, your customers will see a pay button on their invoices. Let's quickly talk about safety. Uh, we've partnered with Stripe to provide the online payments. Stripe is used by some of the biggest companies in the world, including Amazon, Deliveroo and Uber, to name just a few. So you can be confident your payments are secure. So why might you want to enable online payments? First of all, it makes it easy for your customers to pay. And if it's easy to pay, it means you're going to get paid faster. It works with uh, deposits and uh, the full amount. So your customers can choose whether to uh, just pay a deposit or the full amount. Uh, it also lets you collect tips. Um, I'm going to show you this later. We haven't launched that yet. Um, it's coming later this month. And finally, um, it saves you admin. Uh, you no longer need to manually record payments in Petsitter dashboard. It all happens automatically. Great thing with um, online payments is uh, you are in control. You have a direct relationship with Stripe. It's your account and your money, so there's no third party to go through. If you have any problems, you can talk directly with Stripe and they'll resolve the issue for you. And because we don't act as a middleman, there's no fees. You have to pay us. We don't take a cut. Notifications are important. You'll want to know um, when you've uh, received money, when a customer has paid you. Uh, you'll get an email uh, from Petsitter Dashboard. Uh, your customer also gets an email confirming the transaction. And on that ID, on, on that email is a transaction number. And I'm going to show you later how you can use the transaction number to track payments in Stripe. When you receive a payment email, it will tell you who paid, um, how much they paid, and there's even a link in there to take you back to the invoice. So it's very easy to keep track of payments. OK, I think we're ready to get started. Let's have a look. First of all, you head to settings. And then you go to online payments. Now, online payments do require a Petsitter dashboard subscription. So if you haven't done that, just head over to the menu, click manage account, uh, follow the um, instructions and you can uh, sign up there. But once you've got a Petsitter dashboard subscription, you can begin by linking your Stripe account. Let's do that now. I'm going to press the get started button. You can see a message here that's telling you uh, we're redirecting you to Stripe. Just give that a few seconds. And here we are. We're on the Stripe home page. Now, as you can see, we're in test mode and everything I'm showing you today is in test mode. So you're going to see some credit card numbers. Um, don't try to use them. They're made up. <laughs> OK, so the first thing we need to do is sign up for a Stripe account. Um, it's already pre-filled my email address, so I'm just going to click continue. It's now going to ask for a password. And it's warning me that my password needs to be at least 10 characters. Remember, this is cash, so you do want this to be secure. And again, it's warning me that this should be a stronger password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a stronger password. Okay, okay so um, they're also going to ask um, for a mobile number. This is for a security code. Now, um, I'm actually going to use a security, um, an authenticator app to do this. Uh, so the way I do that is I click on Authenticator and I get a little uh, QR code pop up here. Remember, if you're going through the um, SMS route, you'll get um, a message to your phone. 
I'm sure you've seen these before. Okay, I am just setting this up now. Perfect, and I have my code. So now I'm going to enter my verification code, which if I'd done this through an SMS, I would have got this as an SMS message. There we go, and it's telling me my code is secure. Again, don't worry about some of these messages. We're in test mode. First thing it's gonna ask is just some basic information about where we are. Um, I'm in the United Kingdom. Uh, and it's asking what type of business am I, uh, individual company. Um, I'm just going to keep this simple. So I'm going to say I'm an individual. Obviously, most of you will be going through as a company and you'll need to enter your company details. OK, so it's asking for some names. So again, this is all a test system, so I can put in anything I want here. You should um, be entering uh, correct information. This is payments. Uh, they will verify your identity. So you need to make sure all of this is correct. Next, it'll ask for a postcode and a telephone number. There we go. Uh, if you're VAT registered, so this is just sales task, um, it'll, uh, you can put your VAT number in there. Uh, again, this is all customized depending on which country you're in. Uh, Stripe will take care of all this for you. Uh, industry, uh, let's see if we've got uh, something suitable in here. Um, so let's see what I can put in. This is, I'm just gonna pick a personal service at the moment. You can put your website in. Uh, the reason you want to fill in as much as this as possible is that when you get into making payments, this information will appear on your payment screen. So you wanna fill in as much of this as possible because it will give confidence to your customers that um, they're dealing with a professional company. The other thing to say is um, you can come back to this. So if I decided um, here, over here, I can return to Pet Sitter dashboard. Uh, maybe I need to go and collect some information. Uh, once you've got that information, you can just come back, click Get Started. You'll get taken back into Stripe. And you can just carry on where you left off. Okay, so um, again, this is test mode. So I'm just going to use a test account. Um, this is the account where payments will go to. It's also then going to ask, how do you want it to appear on uh, your customer's bank statements? So um, you might just want to call it the name of your company, or maybe you want to say the dog walker. Um, there's a shortened version as well, uh, which just appears like this. Uh, so you can see this top one appears like this and this bottom one will appear on um, customers' re uh, receipts like this. You can also put in a phone number if they need, if your customer needs to get hold of you, if you've got any queries about the transactions. Okay, so... Let's just ask this bit. There we go. So this is uh, optional. Um, it's something that Stripe offer. Uh, if you would like to contribute to Stripe's uh, climate change commitment, you are uh, you can do that here. Uh, there's various amounts you uh, can uh, give. If you don't want to do that, uh, you just click the no thanks button and you can move on. So there we go. You can review your details. You can change this at any point. Uh, you can see here there's some missing information. Let's go and pop that in. It's probably going to be this postcode down here. Let's see if we can get that passed. There we go. 
and you can see it's pending verification. So if this was uh, a real account, um, they would be doing some checks on the details you provided to make sure that you're um, a real person. Um, that's for things like money laundering uh, and to prevent uh, Stripe being abused. The other thing it's worth saying is if you already have a Stripe account, you can actually just link your existing Stripe account. So on that first page, you just click um, log in and with your existing account and it will just link you link to your existing account. You don't need to set up a new account if you've already got one. There we go. So we're all done and it's going to return you to um, Pets at a Dashboard. So if you ever need to change your Stripe settings, you can click this link up here. And this will take you back into um, the onboarding process. So here's the basic details. We'll just head back to Pets at a Dashboard now. Or you can go to your Stripe dashboard. So I'm going to show you the Stripe dashboard um, a little bit later. Um, so this is the Stripe system. This is a Stripe website. Um, you can see here your payments. It's quite busy, really, when you get started. You're, you're welcome to read any of this stuff. But to be honest, you probably want to close some of this. Uh, you'll definitely want to upload your logo. That appears on um, your uh, payment page you see that um, a little bit later uh, what else have we got if we go to more uh, there's some settings in here as well let me just see if I can find those nope that's not it no it's here somewhere Oh, yes, sorry. So click settings up here. It's always the obvious places, isn't it? And then down here, you can see various settings to customize your um, brand. So if we go to account details, uh, you can set your account details. You can also do things like change your uh, colors. See if I can find that branding. There we go. If you click branding, so if you have a particular color, and here's an example of what the page currently looks like. So maybe your brand color is a bit more bright, so you can uh, change that. Uh, if you've uploaded a logo, that will also appear. Um, so you're free to welcome on that to, to play with this as much as you like. Uh, you know, you can go into quite a lot of detail. You, know, you can change fonts and things depending on how you uh, want the checkout page to look. OK, but we're now going to head back to Petsitter dashboard now that uh, online payments are set up. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is just to create a booking. So I'm going to head into the calendar, book an appointment. I'm just going to make this uh, just one appointment. And if I go and look at the invoice, um, I'm just going to click the print invoice button. And what that will do is create the invoice that your customer will see. So it just takes a second. And there's the invoice. And you can see um, on the invoice is um, a pay £10. So I'm just going to click that. And here is the payment page. So um, because I'm using a, a Chrome, there's an option to play with Google Pay. If you are using Safari, there would be an option for Apple Pay. Uh, I can also pay with a credit card. So why don't we do that now? Uh, so this is a test credit card. This credit card doesn't exist. We are in test mode. And I'm going to pay. Great, that's all done. And in a few seconds, you'll get a message confirming that the payment was successful.
But if I head back to that invoice, I'm just going to refresh the screen. What you can now see is the invoice changes to show the invoice has been paid. You can see a strike payment was made um, on the 26th for £10. Um, so I'm just going to close that. And I'm just going to make another booking because this time what I want to show you is when we get to the invoice I'm going to put a five pound deposit on this one and so now if I look at this invoice you can see there's the option to pay the deposit or they can just pay the full amount and if they pay the deposit uh, it'll just take the uh, five pounds and as you would expect let's go through that it's also worth mentioning because this is stripe um, if there's um, any requirement to uh, validate your credit card you know sometimes you have to open your app and just say yes it was me um, stripe will take care of all of that for you as well we head back to the invoice and I'll just refresh this and now you can see the invoice is showing as the uh, five pound deposit with uh, five pound left to pay. Uh, one other thing um, with the new invoices, uh, if you want to print this invoice, you can uh, just go and click print. Uh, so it gives you a nice uh, uh, invoice for printing. You can also save these as a PDF. So if you want to um, download these, uh, maybe file them away, this is the way you can uh, download and save your invoices as a PDF. So while we were doing that, in the background, there will have been some emails going backwards and forwards. Let's just have a quick look at those. Remember, all emails that are sent through Petsitter dashboard, you can see in your email report. So this first one, this is an email that goes to you whenever anyone pays. So here you go. Good news. You've been paid. Barney Rubble has paid you. You can click the view invoice button and that will open the online invoice. You can click the go to website button and that will drop you into Petsitter dashboard uh, on the correct invoice. Or you can click go to Stripe and that will open Stripe for you. Your customer also got an email. Uh, so it says, thank you. Your payment was successful. And here are the details. Uh, now, here at the bottom is this transaction ID. And if you remember, I said we could use these to um, reconcile payments. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back into online payments and open up the Stripe dashboard. Okay, now I'm in here. I can search and there you go. So that is that transaction and that is how you tie things together. You can see your payments and you can see, um, you know, you can track them down if there's any problems or if a customer queries um, a payment, uh, you can um, track it back to uh, Stripe. Okay, and the other two emails, just the emails we sent uh, for the deposit, paying the five pounds, and again, it went to the uh, customer for five pounds. So thanks very much for joining me this evening. I hope you found it informative, and um, I look forward to uh, speaking to you at the next event.